This is the first time 3x3 is being contested in the Olympics. The opportunity to be an Olympian, if you're lucky in life, comes once. Our 3x3 qualifying tournament team, Alicia Gray, Stephanie Dolson, Katie Liu, Kelsey Plum. It's the first time to have a chance to represent for the U.S. Something like this doesn't come around very often. And you, you don't want to you know, give in to hyperbole, but it could be the only chance of a lifetime. Five on five players transitioning to three on three. This is new for all of us. The nuances of the three on three game are just very unique, and so a lot of the things can't be taught unless we're like playing live. That's all right, we're just playing basketball, right? When you play the normal five on five, it gets not redundant, but it's the same game that I've been playing for 20 years. Um, so once I tried three on three, it was just a whole different game. It's faster, it's you know, you have to have quicker reaction time. You know, everything's just sped up. Our, our dominance at the 515 level is well documented. One of the reasons we're really good at the 515 level is our depth. That depth that we experience and that advantage we enjoy with like our seventh, and eighth player, ninth player, tenth player, eleventh player, twelfth player being just as good as our starting five. Now it's four. Who do you want to run? The coach doesn't coach during the games. Because there's no coach to get information from, they have to look internally and they have to figure it out. I think it really helps that we have pros playing because as a pro, you obviously are a coach, but you do a lot of self-coaching on the floor with your teammates. Nice. For the most part, even with the 5v5 level, you still need that chemistry within your teammates. So I feel like as long as we communicate with each other, like, we'll be successful. I feel good about all four of our players. Let's start with our post player, Stephanie Dolson. Yes! Yes! She understands how to play the game. She's very skilled. She's very physical. Look at you passing and cut. <laughs> Look at that. Alicia Gray is kind of the silent assassin of the group, you know. She's very quiet, just by nature, her demeanor. Yes. She can really do it all. Our guard, Kelsey Plum, has really studied it and really worked on it over the last couple of years. I'll go to the net. Uh -huh. uh, as soon as your boy touches it, it resets the shot clock. Katie Liu brings tremendous size and length. Uh, another player like Alicia that we're going to count on for that versatility. I love three on three. Um, I love playing it. Getting the chance to play in the World Championships and the Youth Olympics was my favorite experiences that I've had, being able to play in those and win gold. Usually, obviously, we would have our full team here at training camp, but because we play an overseas season, uh, Lou's not with us. And because of that, we brought in other players to play with us. I understand the importance of it, and I want nothing more than USA to get in and to win it. And so uh, my job is to make those players better. I'm not only just here to try to help train and be with the players as well, but trying to make sure that I'm getting better too. Because if I'm out there getting better and working as hard as I can, of course it helps them as well. We're getting there. We're getting better. Yeah. And that, that's ultimately what, why we're here for the camp standpoint, just keep getting better. And they're good. They're challenging them. So we got to play really well to beat them. And I like that. We have a lot of pressure on us to qualify because it is the first time. There will probably be some nerves, um, but I think just excitement, you know, to be a part of that moment and, and have a chance to be that first team to qualify. So there will definitely be some, some anxiety brewing beforehand. May 26th for us is our chance. This is it. This is what we've been building toward. 